Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to be talking to you about your closet essentials or aka your wardrobe basics and the reason why I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this is because probably about like five or so months ago I was looking in my closet and I just felt so stuck and almost like sad to look at my closet. I don't know, like I just felt like my style wasn't evolving and I just didn't understand it until I realized that I was seriously, seriously lacking in the basics. So if you guys are interested in seeing what my wardrobe basics are, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, I'm sure you probably have this in your wardrobe somewhere. It's shocking because I feel like I actually did not and I have no idea how or why, but definitely a basic white t-shirt. Um, oh my goodness. I mean, like a basic white t-shirt literally goes with everything obviously you can pick up basic white tees for very cheap and you can get like literally like five to ten of them for nothing and you're gonna get so so much use out of them even if it's like a white tee with a logo on it i have a lot of those and they still go with just about everything you will use your basic white tee to death Okay, so number two would definitely be a good pair of jeans. I don't know where I would be in life without jeans, to be honest with you. Like, I'm pretty sure that I live in jeans. I absolutely love jeans. They go with, once again, just about everything. I love jeans personally because they make my non-existing butt look halfway there, which is quite an accomplishment to me. You can dress jeans up, you can dress them down. Boyfriend jeans, mom jeans, all kinds of jeans. Like, I can't get enough of jeans. I used to be, like I've actually calmed down quite a bit from jeans to be honest with you. I used to be like hella obsessed with them. I was like, listen, girl, you need to like calm down just a little bit. Honestly, they're the best investment in the world. That's one thing like, I don't think that you have to invest a ton of money into jeans, but if you do happen to invest a good amount of money into your jeans, they're gonna last you for such a long, long amount of time. Next would definitely be a pair of trousers. And I didn't realize how important this was basically until I actually owned a pair. I feel like trousers are like one of those things that you put on and it feels like you're not trying very hard at all, yet you look so good. Like it's just, it gives such cool girl vibes. Like I feel, I feel like every time I put trousers on, I feel like I get like those Scandinavian like didn't really try too hard kind of thing happening. I, I can't say how much I love a good pair of trousers. Another combination I actually absolutely love is um, a pair of cigar flats um, or flats of any kind really in trousers. Oh my God, they look so good. It's basically like the jeans heel combination. It's just, I live for flats and trousers. Okay, so next would definitely be a blazer. I I know I'm gonna say this about every single thing, but whatever. I absolutely love a good blazer. And I love the fact that a nice blazer can really like accentuate or maybe like elongate your shoulders. I think that there's something very sexy about that. It's such a minimal piece that can take you from here to here. A blazer is super effortless and that's definitely what your basics should be. A fitted jacket. <sighs> I live for a good fitted jacket. This could either be a jean jacket, this can be um, a nice leather jacket, or for me personally right now, it's a camel suede fitted jacket. 
The reason why I don't have a leather jacket at the moment is because I feel like it's definitely a piece where I would like to invest my money in. Um, if so, it's gonna last me a very, very long time. And I've yet to kind of find like my dream leather jacket. Jackets for me, they're kind of like jeans. They're basically like just an extension of me. A good fitted jacket can really make your outfit look very, very clean. I absolutely personally love wearing like baggy boyfriend jeans with a good fitted jacket just because I feel like you're playing around with contrasting fits and that can really complement not only your body, but your outfit as well. Okay, so next would be a trench coat. Although personally, I have to tell you, I don't really get much use out of my trench coat personally due to the fact that I live in Florida, so it's not really 100% necessary for me. When I have a trench coat on, I feel like not only a grown woman, but I feel like a grown boss, like a girl boss, and it's incredibly empowering actually. And at the end of the day, that's kind of what I like my clothes to be for me is something that's very empowering. A trench coat is a very classic piece. Um, it's more than likely never gonna go out of style, so you're gonna get a ton of use out of it. It can be very elegant and also very modern all at the same time. This is a piece that you will find in every single grown woman's closet. Okay, so this next one is incredibly random. It's just a black belt. It's something that's super cheap that you should definitely own. It can totally bring up an outfit from like zero to 100 real quick. Um, it's so cheap. There's no reason for you not to have one. I find especially when I'm wearing something like jean shorts that can make me kind of look like a 12 year old little girl. It's like as soon as I put on a black belt, I went from 12 year old little girl to kind of like a woman. You know what, I'll, I'll go with that. a pair of white trainers, or for me personally, this is just a pair of Adidas Superstars. You could probably either do white trainers or beige neutral colored of some kind is also very popular. I feel like these are basically very essential because it gives not only style, but comfort. And sometimes I actually am looking for that. So speaking of comfort, next is going to have to be a pair of wearable, let me just shout this out for the people in the back, wearable heels. Any type of black or neutral heels. Um, for me personally, I absolutely love like a good pair of black strappy heels. Let me just tell you what is not cute. Your newborn baby gazelle walk. Once again, a pair of wearable, walkable heels. Now, don't get me wrong because I look at those stilettos and I think how absolutely stunning and gorgeous and sexy they are. And if you can walk in them and you're not looking like an injured baby deer, then be my guest, please walk in them. But let me just tell you what is not in any way, shape, or form sexy, and that is you attempting to walk in a pair of stilettos when you really just can't, and that's totally okay. What's gonna be very sexy is when you're confidently walking in a pair of heels that are wearable and something that you can actually walk in. You're also going to get a ton of use out of this. You can wear it for almost literally any occasion. And once again, your basics or your closet essentials should definitely be something that you're getting a lot of use out of. So next would have to be a watch. This is another piece where I had no idea that I needed it until I owned it. It's so funny because like you think of back when you were younger and I feel like I was always like, I just don't get watches. Like I don't understand it. And now like, I have a full-on love affair with watches. 
they are definitely once again one of those pieces that are something that you can find in a grown woman's wardrobe and I just feel so grown every time I wear a watch I don't know that sounds silly but it's true a watch is a small statement piece that definitely gives off adulting vibes I think once you actually own one you're not gonna be able to go back last but definitely not least Maybe this isn't really necessarily in your closet per se, but I feel like definitely some sexy underwear of some kind um, is totally essential to what you're wearing. I know personally for me, anytime I put on like lacy underwear or a beautiful bralette, it makes me feel so good. Like knowing what I have underneath and like I just, I definitely, get way more confident when I'm wearing something I know is super sexy. Feeling confident underneath is almost the number one most important thing. I feel like especially a bralette, um, nowadays with a lot of things being quite see-through, is pretty much trending all over, you definitely should own at least a couple pairs of bralettes. Truly, it's your lacy garments what are going to make you feel at your best at the end of the day. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you did enjoy this, and if so, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. It is greatly appreciated, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.